But it doesn't matter where you are in the world, touch rugby starts almost every training session, whatever level. <laughs> Yeah, here we are at uh, high school in Kumamoto. Uh, it's the senior side, and it's a very young senior side, so it's their next uh, competition that's very, very important. Over the next couple of years, they're going to grow this side into a championship winning side, and hopefully that'll start today. <laughs> Be strong, right there. But if you squeeze, I can't. I, I'm. I'm not gone. I didn't ask you. You know, it's your time. That's your time. Okay. Just push it. Push it. Good. Good boy. <laughs> Go ahead. Just think. Think. Just squeeze. So, having spent time with the next generation of rugby players in Japan, our evening was spent at the other end of the spectrum as the rugby family extended the warm hand of hospitality and we enjoyed a few beers and some laughs with the president of the Kumamoto Rugby Union and a few of his former teammates. So here we are uh, in a beer restaurant, as they call them, because uh, here in Kumamoto, you uh, well, you go to a beer restaurant, which means you get some beer and you get some food. The, the clue's in the name, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, very lucky we've been invited tonight. There's uh, 30 uh, older rugby players, old, older than me, and uh, they're here just to celebrate the fact that uh, the Rugby World Cup is coming here and to talk a little bit about the past. Yeah, Kumamoto Rugby Club. We've got the president here. We've got plenty of faces, so uh, we're hoping to share a few rugby stories over some beer and some food. So I haven't got a beer yet. It's been your half an hour. I haven't yeah. had a beer yet. Come on. Kampai! Kampai! We have, we've been to the, the highest mountain and volcano. We've been to the spas. I look very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. The spas. Uh, we made knives. Uh, we've been uh, uh, coaching some of the sc high school uh, children today, and I got to say, absolutely superb. The skills, the the attitude, the politeness. Uh, their ability to want to learn. You should be very, very proud of your young people. Well, we came here to talk rugby. Now we're playing bingo. And hang on. Yeah, 56. 50, I got 56. I got 56. You have to go away now. I'm on the rolling street. Well, it was a real honour to spend some time with the friends and players of Kumamoto Rugby Union, confirming that no matter how different our cultures might seem on the surface, rugby is still a universal language of friendship and respect. Oh, and beer. Lots of beer. So we've come down this morning to a, a local amateur club and uh, they're known as the Higo Bank Club. That's the bank that sponsors them, that looks after this ground for them. Um, the grass is pretty brown, that's not because it's scorched, that's just how it looks. Apparently it goes green in the summer, so uh, that's a little different to how we're used to at home. Um, but, uh, but these are the boys, Scott's just uh, here to offer them a bit of advice as they go through uh, a spot of training this morning. Well, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, touch rugby starts almost every training session, whatever level you play at. <laughs> Enjoy your rugby, have a fantastic season and hopefully I'll see you back here in October when Wales play Uruguay in Komamoto Stadium. Hopefully, fingers crossed, very, very much luck, we will play Japan in the final. Uh, Wales-Japan final. You understood none of that, did you? No. no. <laughs> I understand none of that. Yeah. Brilliant. If I do that, I can, I can, get, I can get him out. So taking his hands away. So the boys are going through a bit of Saturday morning rugby training to be seen up and down the country. And of course, anyone who's played the game will know that's how it works. As we've we've enjoyed our time here in Kumamoto, plenty to see and do. And, I'm uh, loving this. It's yeah. absolutely brilliant. But don't take our word for it. You need to get out here and enjoy Kumamoto yourselves. You will not be let down. Yeah, absolutely.
deflating my ball on it, just in case it pops on the plane. <laughs> 